G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. So today we've got a really exciting job. We've been commissioned by a high school to install a marine science lab. Now a marine science lab in this case involves a number of tanks. We've got a couple of uh, frag tanks, a tank and a sump, and we've also got a big display tank. Now it's a beautiful tank with a nice cabinet and a helmet. We're gonna put uh, hydro lights on it. But today the job is to get the tank upstairs. Look at where it has to go. So the tank's going up on the top floor of this building and now we've got the challenge of getting it up there. Here's how we do it. So we're back on site for our marine science lab that we're installing and so as you can see we've got the tank in place, um, we've got uh, all the equipment that we're going to be installing um, sort of scattered around, we've got our plumbing, uh, all the tools required, drills, pipe cutters and so today's job is going to be to do the plumbing, to uh, install all the componentry and the hardest part bringing the water up and filling this tank. So I'm making the return line for our eight foot tank. We've got the bulkhead at the bottom. I'm gonna put a union in place so we can remove this if we choose. And I'm probably gonna go a right angle to a 45 degree and probably another 45 degree back into the tank. So this will sit in the overflow and so I'll reduce the length of this so that it's a little bit more low profile and I'll probably reduce this as well just so that we've got our outlet coming in at the water surface to also make it a little bit smaller and more discreet.
So uh, what we've got here is the UV steriliser, which is being fed by a pump in the return chamber of the sump. So the water goes to the UV steriliser, then to the chiller, which is exhausting out of the cabinet, and then back into the sump. So I'll just feed this through. So this is our line that's going to feed the UV steriliser in the chiller. So I'm just going to cut this. And we've got a Niles Viper. I know that these take a 16 mil hose tail. So it's going to be nice and easy to go straight onto our 16 mil hose. Make sure I get the right one. It's the most important part. And we've forgotten. So it's this one. Okay. We've got some plastic hose clamps, so we'll hose clamp that, but the hose tail is pretty good and nice and strong. It's only a couple thousand litres an hour. Okay, so we're making some great progress. We've filled the tank up, not to the point that the water overflows down the weir just before. We're giving the glue a little bit more time to set and you can actually see that we've got our return line in position. This will aim down like so. Tom's doing a great job getting these lights up. Uh, almost finished the first one of six. We've got our protein skimmer in position and you can see the drainage lines behind as well as the return which runs to the pump on the right hand side. The great thing about this overflow system is that we'll be, be able to uh, reduce the amount of noise of water going down into the sump by adjusting this valve here, like so. Uh, everything else is coming along quite nicely. I think uh, we'd be pretty close to filling up in another 10 minutes or so. So you've seen the display tank that we're setting up in this marine science lab, but here's the frag tank. Have a look at this, we've got the main tank which we're going to be lighting with the Hydra 26 HDs, the sump and the auto top up reservoir underneath. It's a really nice big sump, really nice big auto uh, top up reservoir. Now we're going to have a slightly different system for the overflow into the sump than we do with the display tank. So with this one we're going to use an eShop hang on skimmer, uh, hang on overflow sorry. And so this is going to sit about here and it's going to drain straight down into the sump. Now one of the complications with this type of overflow box is that we have to drill a couple of holes. Now it's uh, it comes with everything that we need apart from the drill but we've got that so we'll, uh, we'll show you how we install the overflow box. So I'm going to drill the eShops overflow holes and you can see we've got our template I've just attached it with the clamp and so this will allow us to put our holes in the perfect position. Now we use water to just to help to cool down uh, the glass and it also helps to remove the glass particles. So I'm just going to start out quite slowly. Okay, so we've got our overflow box in position and we have to plumb this like it were any other overflow. And so we've got three drains here. We're going to have a main drain which will have a ball valve on it, which will be this one. That will sit in line like so. And now because we've got the protein skimmer in this same section, I need to ensure that we have enough space for it to all fit in. 
So I'm using angles so that it will go over towards the back of this section. So we've almost finished our marine science lab installation. And so check it out, this is what we've done. We've got an eight foot by two foot by 500 high, which is designed to be the perfect height for the children as they're watching uh, from their seats. We haven't uh, in, uh, plugged in everything just yet, so the chiller isn't running at the moment. We've still got a mess of cables. We're gonna put a board up the back there. Um, the UV steriliser isn't turned on, but you can see what we're gonna do. The automatic top up will fill next time. Um, on the other side, we've got the skimmer working. We've uh, propped it up and I've got it uh, turned right down. I'm a little bit worried that maybe it'll over skim with the new tank and I prefer for it to under skim than over skim at this point. But our plumbing is working perfectly. We've added a little bit of biological media. We've got our sand, our rock, uh, all the lights. So everything is looking exactly as we want. Very happy with this job. So as you can see, the, the finished product is looking really good. It's all ready to go. I think the kids are gonna really get a kick out of having such a beautiful tank right in the middle of their classroom. Um, let's just check out the, the frag tank. Um, we're about to hit go on the return pump. I'm very happy with the way this has turned out. Our hang on overflow is perfect. It matches the space. The plumbing on the overflow has worked really, really well. Uh, again, our great white skimmer, haven't plugged it in yet, but it's looking good. And um, we're just gonna fill up a little bit more water and plug it in. So we'll be posting lots of updates on the Marine Science Lab as we fill it with fish and corals. So it'll be really exciting to, to see what we do with it in the future. So stay tuned for updates on Gallery Aquatica TV. And thank you so much for watching. So that's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe as well. We'll be putting out videos every week showing a, a new tank with new products. There's gonna be lots in all the videos. I'm Cam the Fish Guy and keep on reefing.